Hi, welcome back. Welcome back, Cancer. Uh, we're going to do a general read for you today. Uh, this is going to be for August 10th to 16th. Uh, keep in mind this is a general read. It may not resonate with everybody. And if it doesn't fit, don't force the fit. We're going to look into the past, the present, and the future and clarify as we need to all the way along. And at the end, we'll pull three cards of advice. So, for Cancer, please, what do we have for Cancer? We have the Star card, Eight of Cups, Knight of Pentacles. In the past, and then we in the present, we have the Page of Pentacles, the Magician, Six of Swords, and in the future, we have the Chariot, your energy, Seven of Wands, and the Ace of Wands. In the past, I read this as somebody was hoping that a new path was going to bring them success. Uh, in the present, we'll clarify this shortly. Uh, in the present, we have the Page of Pentacles, the Magician, and the Six of Swords. And I see this as somebody that's got their stuff together and that they're ready to move forward um, into calmer waters uh, or a change overall. Maybe it could be even a change in uh, residence um, with the chariot card here and, and the six of swords. Uh, the chariot <coughs> being your energy. Uh, it could be a change. Uh, looking into the future, if we interpret the chariot card as your energy, we have the seven of wands defending yourself uh, to make something new happen. So let's go into this. We'll start into the pass of the Star, Eight of Cups, and the Knight of Pentacles. What is the Star card? Ten of Pentacles, Knight of Swords, and the Fool. I see this as somebody that is thinking about their stability and whether to take a new opportunity. Uh, if that's the case, that ties in really well to this Eight of Cups here of choosing a new path. And that new path uh, leading them into the Knight of Pentacles. What is this Knight of Pentacles, please? Queen of Cups, Eight of Pentacles, and the Death card. This could be the change uh, that you've been waiting for uh, to bring you more into alignment with what you want to do. This Queen of Cups here is your energy. Um, so I see this Eight of Pentacles and the Death card is changing into a different vocation or something that suits you better overall. Uh, Cancer, if we go in forward into the Page of Pentacles, again, that's good news uh, moving forward. Uh, what is this good news? Let's look at this Page of Pentacles, please, for Cancer. We have the Six of Cups, the Devil, and the Strength card. I see this Page of Pentacles uh, as it's taking a lot of effort for you this week to let the past go and leave it behind uh, to move forward. Um, as I'm looking at this, we have the Six of um, Cups card, which of course is the path, the Devil, to me, in this uh, instance, it's something that's hanging on to or to you, or you're hanging on to. You can see by these two individuals, they're connected by this uh, golden chain, and they're sort of made to dance to that chain uh, at the whim of the devil. I see this as, as you being tied to that past, uh, having a hard time of letting it go, and it's taking a lot of strength. Uh, the Magician card is here to tell you, you have what you need to move forward uh, with this Six of Swords energy. Uh, as we go forward uh, to your energy again with the Chariot, we have this Seven of Wands and the Ace of Wands. This Seven of Wands to me is just defending yourself. Um, and I want to I want to take a look at that because uh, it's going to get interesting. So what do we have with the Seven of Wands for Cancer? So we have a Judgment card, the Knight of Cups, and the Two of Swords. Uh, Knight of Cups to me is sort of that uh, 
really a romantic type of, of, of energy, very, very emotional. And this Two of Swords uh, seems to be a choice uh, where you're not sure of which choice to actually make. Uh, what is this Two of Swords, please? <clears throat> Wow. Hierophant, the wheel, and the nine of pentacles. Uh, I look at the hierophant as, as sort of traditional ways of doing things. Um, the wheel, of course, is uh, a new cycle beginning or a change in fortune that's going to lead you to be self-sufficient and successful. If I look forward into the ace of wands, what is this ace of wands, please? What is the Ace of Wands? Four of Swords. King of Wands. The Nine of Wands. Hmm. I look at this as after you've defended yourself and started this new sort of... Um, venture that you're going to be able to relax step up up, up into that sort of uh, energy where you're making your own way with everything that this is king of wands that you're going to rise quickly um, although it's going to take a fair bit of energy uh, with this nine of wands here uh, it looks like it's you're going to step up uh, very well um, going back to even with this Nine of Pentacles, uh, becoming self-sufficient. Uh, what is the final advice for Cancer here, please? What is the advice for Cancer? Seven of Pentacles, Four of Pentacles, and the King of Pentacles. As you take this new opportunity, it looks like you're going to start creating that um, stability uh, to be harvested at a later date. Be careful of holding on too tight and not making a choice because not making a choice is a choice. And then stepping up into that King of Pentacles and King of Wands energy where you've become very self-sufficient, uh, where you take the nine to the king. Um, It seems like there's change on the horizon, um, but it looks like it's going to be positive change. Uh, with a lot of the major arcana that we see here and the offers that are coming through, uh, it looks very good for you, Cancer. Uh, thank you for stopping by. I hope this resonates with you. Uh, have a great week. It'd be interesting to see how this turns out for you. Take care.